Welcome to the Sacramento Regional Transit Board of Directors meeting. We are being streamed live on RT's website, which can be found under Sac RT and board documents. Please check the Sacramento Metropolitan Council Commission broadcast calendar for replay dates and times. And now I will proceed to call the roll. Director Budge. Here. Director Howell. Director Natoli. Here. Director Shanier. Here. Director Cerna. Here. Vice Chair Miller. Here. Chair Hansen. Here. And I'll go back to Director Howell. I don't hear Director Howell. With that, we have a quorum at 91 votes. I think Dir Director Serna for the pledge, would you care to lead us in that when we get to that in a moment? Yes, sure. Wonderful. Chair Hanson, I ask if you have any closed session report. Uh, I don't believe we have a report out, um, Henry or staff. Nope, no. no report out. No. Okay, thank you. All right, uh, Cindy, can you put the flag up? Linda has it up. <laughs> Linda has one as well. You can never have too many on a WebEx. All right, Director Cerna, thank you. Okay, hand over heart. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United, the United States, States of America. Of America. And to the Republic, to the Republic for which, which it stands, stands one, nation, one nation, under God, God indivisible, indivisible, with liberty, with liberty justice for all. for all. Thank you, Director Cerna. And uh, that is a rad photo behind you that I understand is <laughs> one of your very own creations. So thank yes, you. Thank you. All right, Madam Clerk, next item. Next item is the consent calendar items 2.1 through 2.21, and I have a couple of announcements on the consent calendar. You Do you need to read the statement, the cable statement? I did that before we started. Oh, sorry. No problem. Um, you have received a modified item 2.18. We also, staff is requesting that when you adopt item 2.21, that modified resolution to remove the words conditionally before it is signed by the chair. We also have public comment on item 2.5 and 2.21. All right, uh, Madam Clerk, why don't you read the public comment and then we'll go to the board. Certainly. On item 2.5 from Mike Birnbaum. Thank you, Chair Hansen, Vice Chair Miller, and members of the board. I want to thank staff and a committee of members behind the scenes for coming up with a comprehensive meeting schedule for 2021 that avoids holidays like Memorial Day and schedules around the annual Metro Chamber cap to cap lobbying trip. The public will have peace of mind that out of a possible 24 meetings, there will be 18 meetings, which translates to 75% of all meeting dates possible, as long as no other cancellations occur in the upcoming calendar year. With all that in mind, an excellent product came out of the work by all involved in getting to where we are this evening. I would humbly, I'd be humbly honored to make a motion adopting the SAC RT Board of Directors 2020 board meeting calendar. And that was for item 2.5. The next comment is on item 2.21. Board Chair Hansen, I'm sorry, this is from Felix Huerta. 
Board Chair Hansen, on June 10, 2019, an illegal action took place rescinding the status quo terms and conditions of employment covered under the PRP personnel rules in place at a time for the newly unionized staff of the Administrative Employees Association. The operating engineer local number three, AFL-CIO, has re recently won recognition to present these employees on May 23rd, 2019. Without notifying the union, SAC-RT's administration, Booth and Valentin, had you rescind the PRPs and establish a set of new personnel policies without meeting and conferring with the operating engineers. As a result of this action, SACRT forced us to file a writ of mandate. On November 3rd, 2020, the Superior Court of Sacramento ruled in our favor. As such, the action taken on June 10, 2019 has been rescinded by the court. The court writes, and I quote, the court finds respondent has an obligation to maintain the status quo during the time and engaged in good faith negotiation with petitioner until a new agreement or impasse was reached. Respondent failed to comply with this obligation, end quote. As a result of this decision by the court, SACRT will have to properly compensate employees covered by the PRP. As a result of this decision, OE3 has found resolutions to our outstanding issues with you administration, which we have ratified in today's OE3 general membership meeting. The tentative agreements out found in board agenda item 2.21 for your approval. It is our hope that we never have to do this again. Felix Berta with a copy to Henry Lee also attached was the OE3 writ. And those are the public comments that I have on the consent calendar. Uh, I'm happy to move the consent calendar as amended. We have a motion from Director uh, Chenier. Is there a second? Second. Second from Director Budge. Any further comments from board members before we call the vote? Seeing none, Madam Clerk, please call the vote. Director Budge? Yes. Director Harris? Aye. Director Howell? Yeah. Director Aye. Hume? Aye. Director Jennings? Aye. Director Kennedy? Aye. Director Natoli? Aye. Director Chenier? Aye, 21 times. Director Cerna? Aye. Vice Chair Miller? Aye. Chair Hansen? Aye. With that, the motion and the consent calendar with modifications passes at 91 votes. Thank you, Madam Clerk. Next item. Next item is item 3.1, resolution commending Steve Hansen, presented by Vice Chair Miller. Thank you, Clerk Cindy. Um, Steve, it's been a pleasure to work with you over the past, what, eight years? And I, I trust our paths were crossed again. You have led Sacramento Regional Transit to one of the, to put it politely, um, the strangest years I, I can remember. And as you leave us, I wanted to express my gratitude for your service. And I have the distinct honor of presenting you with a proclamation on behalf of your colleagues and the entire SACRT family. But before that, I think I need a motion to approve this proclamation. So moved. Second. Motion by Hume, second by Hal. Uh, can you please take the roll? Director Budge? Yes. Director Harris? Yes. Director Howell? Yes, including both of my cats who are in attendance. <laughs> Director Hume? Aye. Director Jennings? Aye. Director Kennedy? Aye. Director Natoli? Aye. Director Chenier? Aye. Director Cerna? Aye. Director Hansen slash Chair Hansen? <laughs> I think I'll, ab I'll abstain on this one because... <laughs> Conflict of interest, I think. Yeah, yeah. And Vice Chair Miller? A hearty aye. 
So what I'd like, oh, go ahead. Well, I was gonna give you the vote and the motion, the motion carries at 92 votes. Ooh, close. So I thought I'd drive everybody nuts and uh, read the proclamation if I feel. <laughs> Please don't. Let's, oh, serious? Go for it. I mean, it. Well, I'll skip down to uh, some of the things we've accomplished under your leadership. Um, you know, uh, through your efforts, we received state grants through the Transit Inner City Rail, Rail Capital Program to help make improvements to our regional light rail system. And of course, we reduce greenhouse gas emissions and support jobs. Uh, during your tenure, we began operating service between the Sacramento Airport and downtown Sacramento for the first time in our history. We began operating service for the Causeway Connection, electric zero emission bus service between Davis and Sacramento. We launched the Wi-Fi bus in partnership with the uh, California State Transportation Agency and the city of Sacramento. And we expanded the smart ride service to areas in Arden, Carmichael, downtown, midtown, east, Sacramento, Folsom, Gerber, Calvine, North Sacramento, Franklin, South Sacramento, North Sacramento, and Rancho Cordova. And I remember when you came out for the inaugural service at, at Citrus Heights when we cut the ribbon for the very first, I think in the uh, nation, maybe the world, uh, on-demand uh, transit service. We have purchased new low floor light rail vehicles. We received the APTA, American Public Transportation Association's first place ad wheel award for comprehensive outreach. I know that's been big with you, Steve. We received the Asian Resources uh, Community Partner Award in, in this year, and we received the gold award from the American Public Transportation Association for 2020 Rail Safety and Security. We received two awards from the California Association of Public Information Officials for our public awareness campaign and award of distinction for free, Ride Free RT. We've successfully launched in-house complimentary Americans with Disabilities Act Paratransit Service, SAC RT Go, transitioning after years of contracting out the service. <clears throat> We've installed new smart fare vending machines, assisted in bringing 95 million in CARES Act funding to fund our operations during the COVID-19 pandemic. And Steve was instrumental in partnerships for art wraps and the light rail trains generated a net operating surplus, which improved our financial condition and working capital needs. Uh, we were awarded 25 million in grant transit and intercity rail capital project funds. And we've been navigating through your leadership, Steve, on the adjustments in service and work safety program protocols during this COVID-19 pandemic. So the board of directors does hereby express our appreciation and appreciation of the entire staff of the Sacramento Regional Transit District to Steve Hansen for his dedicated service as a board member and his commitment to high quality public transportation throughout the district. And Steve, I'd ask you to please display this proudly in a prominent location in your home. And with that, uh, I'll put it right behind me. Oh, there you go. I will, uh, mine's, mine's up there. There it is. <laughs> anyway, uh, are there uh, comments from uh, other board members? Mr. Chair, yeah, I, it's Don Natoli. Just want to express appreciation to Steve for his leadership this year. Certainly, I think you captured a lot of the things that have occurred on his watch, and uh, I've enjoyed working with him his years on RT and certainly his years on the council. And wish him well. And I think, as you said, uh, I'm sure we'll cross paths again. But uh, uh, good work, Steve, and all the best to you. Thank Mr. you, Mr. Kennedy. Yes, uh, Steve, um, you know, I have to say that after hearing that, you know, typical of Steve Hansen, you're an overachiever. Um, but, uh, you know, I don't know anybody in Sacramento who is a better advocate and more passionate advocate for transit than you. So um, it was fitting for you to be chair during such a difficult time. And, uh, you know, I, I thank you for your constant advocacy and I have a feeling that's not going to stop. Uh, after today. So thank you for your service. Thank you, Patrick. And just go ahead and speak up. I can't see everybody on my screen. Thank you, Steve, for everything that you've done. Um, you've worked really, really hard on behalf of the region, not just the city of Sacramento. You've been a leader in a lot of different areas, and I personally am going to miss you. And I'm um, certain our friendship, our personal friendship will continue. Thank you, Gary. Any others? Well, then, uh, Steve, if you'd like to say a few words before I have security escort you out of the building. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, first, I'd like to say I'm glad I'm more popular than the streetcar item. 92 votes. 
Thank you. Um, but, you know, on a more serious note, for eight years, we've um, worked very, very hard uh, as a group. Not all of you have been here eight years, but almost all of you have to turn around this agency. And when I first came to the board, morale was low, public reputation was in peril, and there was a lot of work to be done. And I just want to thank this board for going so deep and working so hard to turn it around, to recruit great staff, like our general manager and the leadership team, and to pursue the necessary but tough decisions to, to make this an agency that no longer is um, sort of like Captain America before he became Captain America, where he could get bullied around and kicked around. But now we, we punch above our weight. And I think that's really a testament to the fortitude and leadership of all of you collectively. Um, I do think that in addition to those things that you mentioned, Steve, I'm really proud um, to see that Folsom Citrus Heights and Elk Grove have come more fully into the system so that we truly have a regional transit system. I also uh, hope that we finish Elk Grove annexation. I know we didn't get it done by the end of the year, but I also know that there's opportunities certainly with Yolo Bus, West Sacramento and others to continue to build a very effective and useful regional transit system. I am pleased that this year, our ADA service transfer from our partner at Paratransit in-house was very successful. We launched that in the midst of the coronavirus pandemic. And I know that it was a big lift even in a regular year. So congratulations to the staff and board for doing that. But we've also done other things. Uh, for instance, the um, the Causeway Connector service had launched right before the pandemic struck. And we were just getting that up and running, um, as well as airport service, which was long overdue, and beginning to, to use that as a template for building ridership. But there's there's as much as we've done, I feel like there's still so much more to do. And so my message is really, I hope you continue to make this an innovative and important agency in the state and country. I think RT has continued to distinguish itself, whether it's um, under the past chairs or whoever comes next, like you, Director Miller, Vice Chair to Chair. Um, there's really a lot to do. I look forward to, as uh, Steve Miller told me earlier today, taking your phone calls and sharing what I can share. And uh, you know, as somebody who's passionate about transit for transit's sake, um, I look forward to being an ally and a partner in what we do going forward. So thank you. Chair, Vice Chair, can I just uh, say some of us? Okay. If we have to. <laughs> so, so much has been said about Chair Hansen and his tremendous contributions to our region. And I just want to add some, you know, my gratitude as well. Over the last three years as vice chair and now our board chair, I have had the pleasure to work closely with you. And uh, I have been, and our staff also, you know, have been truly amazed by your deep engagement, knowledge of issues, and commitment to better our community. And I don't want to list so many, you know, things you, know, you talked about. I want to highlight a couple of things. First, in the last two or three years, we literally brought in hundreds of million dollars for the capital projects and uh, for the, some operating funding. I mean, uh, uh, literally, you know, over a couple hundred million dollars. For example, we secured the funding for 36 diarrhea vehicles. That is, uh, more than $200 million funding, along with other capital project fundings. And that does not include $100 million CARES fund. And uh, by doing that, we virtually secured our financial future for the next couple of years. And uh, as you know, many transit agencies across the country are laying off the people significantly by 20, 30% and the cutting services significantly reduced. And for us, we are able to maintain 100% of the pre-COVID service level, and we do not you know, uh, 
they of a single person and uh, our uh, financial uh, next year with the COVID-19 money, the CARES money, we're able to at least you know, cover next two years uh, financial or operating needs. Just the last week, STA awarded us $8.6 million for microtransit service and others. And you, you remember when we start microtransit service two years ago, we only be able to cover the service by the end of the next year. Now we can cover three more years. Secondly, our you know, uh, public relation, community relation are so significantly you know, improved. And we literally, with what teamwork uh, with the board and with the you know, community, we virtually turned the most fierce criticals into our friends. And uh, then, then, then there were you know, a couple uh, organizations uh, regularly criticized us in the past in the last two, three years, I don't think you you heard you hear you know you heard any those criticism any anymore. And our innovation is the model of the nation, and we have some wonderful innovations here. And I can go on for 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 now, but I'm going to you know um, just to stop here. Just want to say you know uh, you know your finger points are on so many other projects. And uh, thank you for your leadership and the positive spirit and the friendship over these last few years. And we all wish you and Dieter Henry the best. And I know you still have many great things to accomplish. And I'm uh, looking forward to continuing work with you uh, in the future. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much, Henry. And it's a little bit like when people have a finger or they lose a limb. Um, you still feel it. So I have a feeling on a Monday night here or there, I'll have a sense that there's something happening somewhere, but I will not be on a WebEx. And I will not be in the auditorium. I can almost guarantee you that. So thank you all. I appreciate it. Now let's move on to the next item. Actually, if I may, we have one public comment from Mike Fernbaum on okay. 3.1. Greetings, Chair Hansen. In your eight calendar years on this board, you were part of a unique group of policymakers that had some impeccable accomplishments. I want to highlight the South Sacramento Phase Two corridor extension from Meadowview Road to Kasumnas River College, introduction of Folsom Late Night Light Rail Service, the transit activities surrounding the grand opening of DOCO Sacramento and the Golden One Center along with the implementation of SAC RT forward, all occurred while you were a policymaker on the Sacramento Regional the District Board of Directors. This, in addition to the accomplishments under your chairmanship, as well as your in-depth knowledge of how the legal industry plays a role in public transportation, makes for an impressive resume of knowledge and accomplishments, which to me make the ideal candidate for district employment. Please feel free to contact me at any time, anything you want to talk about. My contact information is provided on my sign up of every item I provided on in tonight's board packet. Thank you for serving on the Sacramento Regional Transit District Board of Directors from January 2013 to December 2020. Mike Bernbaum. Thank you so much, Mike. It was a great last word. Now I'm ready to move on. The next item, item 2.3, information, recognizing and thanking AmeriCorps National Civilian Community Corps volunteers presented by Deborah Salinas. Deborah? Jason, are you ready? I'd like to introduce Jason with AmeriCorps. They've been helping us with our volunteer, you know, out outreach for mass distribution, for public information about our campaigns, and more than anything, um, hopefully he is on right now and he can present. Adam, yeah. do you have the slideshow ready?
Hello, my name is Jason. I am the team leader for AmeriCorps and Triple C's uh, Green 2 team. We have been helping with Sacramento Regional Transit for our first round. Um, if Mr. Adam, if you could hit the next slide, please. Uh, I'm going to start off with saying thank you for allowing us to learn about the community with you and through you. We are a group of diverse young individuals learning about the world and learning about ourselves through service. We as a team have bonded so close that we are now a family, even though that we've only known each other since October and walk from all different sources of life. Uh, we come from all different parts of the U.S. and some places abroad. The paths that lie before us are all different, but our paths have crossed together for now on the basis of wanting to serve others. Mr. Adam, if you could hit the next one, please. We are all serving SACRT with helping the company organize their marketing department and public outreach with COVID-19 safety. We are also and equipment as well as promoting dif uh, different services. We are grateful for the professional development from the RT uh, staff and look forward to any advice the board may give. If you could hit the next one, please. We are also serving Yolo County and their food bank. In the morning, we hand uh, food directly to community members through a car drive through In the afternoon, we assembly line to pack food into our boxes for easier distribution. We are finishing our service with SACRT by helping out with the Food Literacy Center and AARP distribution this week and next. And we do not know what we are going to do next, but we know that we are going to make a difference. And for that, we are excited. And I want to say thank you again. Are there any questions that I can try and answer? It was a great presentation, Jason. Um, Madam Clerk, do you have any public comment before I turn it over to the board? Not on this item, Chair Hansen. All right, thank you. Um, Devra or staff, do you have anything you want to add before we turn it over to the board? No, we just really appreciate their support and help with our programs. It's been a tremendous success and we really appreciate it. They've been a great group of um, team members. They really are very active and passionate, so we appreciate it. Thank you. Uh, any board members wish to make comments? I'll just say that uh, it was probably a very difficult and different year uh, to be engaged in a community uh, unfamiliar to you, but we certainly appreciate your efforts and, and wish you the best of luck in the future. Thank you. I would just add thanks to, to Jason, certainly to all of the young folks that uh, helped us out during this year and uh, what an impressive, uh, uh, you know, short resume for each of you. And uh, we're very blessed, I think, to have had you certainly here in Sacramento, but for the work you've done uh, uh, on your Green 2 team and uh, that you continue to do. So thanks so much. And I, I imagine we're going to see great things out of this group of people we're just uh, looking at the short resumes. But thanks for serving our team, for our, serving our community. I just want to okay. kind of, uh, go ahead. Go ahead, Rick, and then, uh, sorry, Director Jennings and then Director Serna. Yeah, I just wanted to yeah. kind of build on what was said. You know, this has been a very difficult year, but your commitment to making sure that you're going to make a difference was felt by everyone that you touched. And I would say keep on making a difference as you go through life, making that a mantra, a commitment that you'll continue to do that no matter where you are. But your difference was felt by many who you touched in the city of Sacramento and who you're touching today and tomorrow. So keep doing what you're doing, be committed no matter what the situation is. And we are just so happy that you're a part of our organization here in Sacramento. Thank you, Director Jennings. Director Serna. Thank you, Chair. Um, I too wanna to pile on here, uh, Jason, and, and uh, uh, share uh, my gratitude uh, for uh, you and your team and everything you've done. And uh, you mentioned in your remarks uh, quite a bit about the importance of service and all of us couldn't agree more. And it's really encouraging to see someone of your generation that is so committed to service. And I would uh, just encourage you, um, you know, once uh, you're doing other things in life, uh, as you progress through your, your career and your education, please uh, don't uh, um, uh, ignore uh, a possible calling to serve an elective office yourself. 
Um, we need we need smart, bright, committed people uh, to make important decisions. Um, and um, I got to tell you, I've been on this board almost uh, a decade now, and uh, Maricord uh, never ceases to amaze me. And I know my colleagues, whether it's uh, the work you've done here or uh, with our respective agencies or work, working on different projects in the in various parts of the region and the community. And uh, it really speaks volumes about the character of, of who you are and, and um, please keep up the great work. And remember, uh, don't, don't, uh, don't ignore the calling when you get it uh, to, to serve uh, an elective office. And any others? Um, Jason, I just want to uh, finish by saying in a very difficult year, there's a lot of cynicism about people's ability to make a difference. You and your colleagues have shown that not only do young people make meaningful contributions, but you still believe that by getting engaged, you can make a difference. And I think that gives us all hope that regardless of how hard this year has been, that we still have a good and bright future ahead. So thank you. Um, please stay in touch with our staff and with us if opportunities come up that we can help with. Thank you all. You can send us a postcard from Australia when you get there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yes. Thank you. All right, Madam Clerk. The next item is public addresses the board on matters not on the agenda. And I have two public comments. The first one is from Mike Birnbaum. Greetings, Chair Hansen, Vice Chair Miller, members of the board, distinguished staff, and members of the public. Following tonight's SACRT board meeting, the Yolo County Transportation District Board of Directors meeting will be held remotely at 7 o'clock p.m. via Zoom. Anybody and everybody is welcome to have access to this meeting as the board and staff, among other things, will hear, discuss, and take action on the district's comprehensive operational analysis reassessment study which include a handful of recommended service changes that would affect riders throughout their service area, including but not limited to their route serving downtown Sacramento and the Sacramento International Airport. And then Mr. Birnbaum has listed the information to the links of the Yolo County board meeting following. The second public comment is from Barbara Stanton and ridership for the masses. Hello, Chair Hansen, Vice Chair Miller, and members of the board. After reading the comments that Mike Birnbaum wrote regarding the YOLO bus board meeting announcement, we spoke in length and would like to pass our comments and our request on to you. We know that SACRT MAC offers Zoom access to their meetings, so anyone who wants to can actively participate. Yet the SACRT board does not. Why is that? Our request is that the board consider and choose to offer the Zoom meeting platform for future meetings starting at the January 24th meeting so that the public can actively participate. Thank you. And that concludes public comment. Uh, I would just ask that the staff respond to the issues related to accessibility and um, whether it's the WebEx platform or Zoom, if people need uh, training on uh, uh, being able to access the meetings more successfully. But if a switch to a different platform is prudent, then I'd also encourage folks to, uh, the staff to look at that. So thank you, Madam Clerk. Thank you, Chair Hansen. Next is item 7.1, the intent motion for selection of chair and vice chair of the Sacramento Regional Transit Board of Directors for 2021. I don't know that I need to provide any introduction, so I will let you run with it. Uh, Director Serna. Uh, thank you, uh, Chair. Um, I don't know if you had a particular order that you wanted us to consider this, but I think it's pretty clear that uh, Mr. Miller is going to uh, progress into the seat as chair. So um, what I'd like to do is offer a nomination of Patrick Kennedy to serve as vice chair getting the band back together. Um, I, I think that let's, we, we can either do it together unless the staff tell us we can't, but I think um, if that's a motion for Steve Miller as chair and it is the candidate as vice chair, is there a second? I'll second, second both. Uh, Pat Hume seconds both, Director Hume, thank you. 
Any debate or discussion, Director Kennedy? Um, being of sound mind and body, do you accept this uh, return to the center of the dais? I do, and I appreciate your support. All right. Any other debate or discussion? Seeing none, let's have a roll call vote. Director Budge? Yes. Director Harris? Aye. Director Howell? I'm sorry, you guys were cutting in and out, so that's Miller and Kennedy? That's correct, Director Howell. Yes. yes. Director Hume? Aye. Director Jennings? Aye. Director Kennedy? Aye. Director Natoli? Aye. Director Shanier? Moving on. Director Cerna? Aye. Vice Chair Miller? Aye. I'll go back to Director Shanier. Marked as being absent. And Chair Hansen? Aye. With that, we have a quorum at 100 votes. Congratulations, gentlemen. Congratulations. The next item is item 7.2, resolution, receive and file the comprehensive annual financial report, reports on compliance and internal controls as required by uniform guidance and the Transportation Development Act report to the Board of Directors for the fiscal year ended June 30, 2020 and designate 3.692795 and 9.1 million to SAC RT's operating reserve and working capital reserve respectively presented by Brent Berniker. Thank you, Cindy. Move approval. We, we have a motion to waive the staff presentation and um, move approval. Second. A second from Director Kennedy. The motion was from Director Budge. Brent, if it's okay with you, we can uh, celebrate. And uh, it is important, we talked about this earlier, to know in our first few years when I was on the board, we were taking millions from the reserves annually. So thank you for replenishing it through this hard work and puts the agency on very firm fiscal footing. So here's your uh, any in, Yes. I just want to thank our external auditors and uh, they did a wonderful job for, you know, uh, they extraordinary diligence and uh, professionalism and great work from our finance, finance team who you know, have been doing a wonderful job in terms of you know, being very conservative, professional to handle you know, our financial. And uh, uh, with the close to $13 million reserve we achieved for FY20, and plus over $17 million reserve we built up you know, prior to 2020, FY20. So now literally we have over $30 million reserve. That is a great, you know, uh, a foundation for our future. Just want to say that. Thank you. All right. Any further debate or discussion? Thank you uh, to our auditor and let's have a roll call vote. Director Budge? Yes. Director Harris? Aye. Director Howell? We lost her again. Okay. Director Hume? Aye. Director Jennings? Aye. Director Kennedy? Aye. Director Natoli? Aye. Director Chenier? Director Serna? Aye. Director Miller? Yes. And I'll go back. Director Howell? Yes, sorry, I was, my connection's been cutting in and out. Thank you, Director Howell. And Chair Hansen? Aye. I'm one more time for Director Chenier. Okay, with that motion carries at 100 votes.
Next item is item 7.3, resolution, street color update and approving the memorandum of understanding between SACRT and the city of West Sacramento as the framework for developing the operating and maintenance agreement for the downtown riverfront streetcar project presented by Laura Ham. Good evening, Chair Hanson and directors. Uh, as described in the resolution, we are requesting adoption of an MOU between the City of West Sacramento and SACRT, which establishes the framework for an operations and maintenance agreement for the streetcar project. This MOU identifies the areas that will be addressed in the, in the O&M agreement and provides a roadmap to guide the parties in negotiating the future agreement. Our goal is to have a fully executed and effective O&M agreement no later than the acceptance of a small starts grant agreement, which is expected in September 2021. At that time, West Sacramento will be included on SACRT's governing board as a voting member. In the MOU, we describe the route departing Sacramento Valley Station at 3rd Street. I believe we have a map we can share with you as well. Um, departing Sac Valley Station at 3rd Street, turning west on Capitol Mall, crossing the Sacramento River at Tower Bridge and ending at Sutter Health Park, where it will connect with Yule County Transit District and West Sacramento Public Transit Services. There are three stops, Sutter Health Park, Second and Capitol, and Sacramento Valley Station. We have agreed to negotiate and develop an equitable proportional cost-sharing methodology with the city paying their proportional share of SACRT's net operating costs. Previously estimated costs were 1.5 million on an annual basis and staff is continuing to refine the cost at various levels of service. Coordination of fare structures and mutual acceptance of SACRT and city fare media will be governed under a separate transfer agreement between SACRT and the city. This will be approved no later than the start of streetcar revenue service. SACRT does continue to discuss various funding options with the city of West Sacramento the City of Sacramento and SACOG. At this time, there's not been any formal commitment to the shortfall, but we believe that a viable option that will allow each of the stakeholders to meet their commitments to progress the project to proceed should occur within the next month. Uh, one final note is that the City of West Sacramento approved this agreement on November 18th. And I have our project manager, Daryl Avanzado, on the call with me tonight, and we would be happy to answer any questions that you might have. Thank you. Do we have any public comment, Madam Clerk? We do not answer the Okay, thank you. Um, I'll turn it over to the board. Mr. Chair, I have a comment. Go ahead, Director Harris. So what I want to do is read a statement from our public works staff at the city of Sacramento. It says item 1.6 of the MOU suggests that the parties are all in agreement but fails to recognize that there is a difference of opinion regarding the city of Sacramento's contribution to the project. While the MOU is in progress, it is not a substitution for the annexation of West Sacramento into the Sacramento Regional Transit District or for an operations and maintenance agreement as required by the September 14, 2020 conditional approval. You know, we've gone over this project of the connector several times. As you all know, I'm very unhappy with the way the vote went. I'm a hard no on this item. Thank you, Chair. Thank you, Director Harris. Any other comments or questions? I don't see any. Is there a motion? This is Director Cerno. I'll move it. Director Cerno. I'm sorry. You. Can, you guys, can you guys just repeat it? My connection's been going in and out. This is a, there's a, um, in the item we passed on the West Sac Connector project earlier this year, there was a requirement that West Sacramento enter into an agreement with Sacramento RT on operations and maintenance by the end of the calendar year. The item before us is that. Um, it sounds like they're with with this project not surprising. There are still some outstanding issues to be resolved, um, and so Director Harris made a comment to that effect. 
uh, and we'll be voting against it. We have a motion from Director Serna to approve the memorandum. I don't sorry, have a is, second yet. Sorry, is there a date by which the agreement, um, the requirements of the agreement will need to be met? Uh, or are Laura? we just ignoring that, that we originally had them have the revised O&M agreement would need to be approved the, the, year, by the, the entering into the small starts agreement with FTA, which is estimated to be September 2021. So there's still a lot of mechanics till we get to September 2021. Can you still hear us, Carrie? I think we may have lost her again. I think I'm back. Did that answer your question, Director Howell? Sorry, because it kept, it kept cutting in and out. I'm just asking if um, if we can get more people on board if we come up with a date by which those those requirements must be met. It's a yes or no question. Yes, I think that's I think that's the bottom line. So can we add a date to the motion? I think it the Laura just said that by September 2021, those things have to be effectuated. Okay. Thank you. Yep. So um, just to give a chance for this motion, I'll, I'll second it for the sake of the conversation. Any other discussion or debate? Otherwise, I'll call a roll call vote. All right, Madam Clerk. Director Budge. No. Director Harris? No. Director Howell? I'll go back to Director Hume. I'll come back. Director Jennings? Yes. Director Kennedy? Aye. Director Natoli? Aye. Director Shanir, leave is absent. Director Serna. Aye. Vice Chair Miller. Yes. Going back, Director Houghton. Absent, Director Hume. No. Chair Hansen. Aye. Okay, I'm calculating results here. Looks like the motion carries at 68 votes. Thank you, Madam Clerk. Um, I would just encourage um, our new incoming chair and vice chair um, and the staff to reach out to the new mayor in West Sacramento, who's just been sworn in, and um, the city manager to see if there are any other questions to work out. I know that the um, city of Sacramento will also have some three new council members starting tomorrow night at five. So um, to the extent that they are uh, needing to be briefed, um, I think that's probably going to be a piece of this project. Also, if Henry Lee somehow ends up running the Federal Transit Administration, you know, I, I would suggest that you work with him as well. <laughs> Next <laughs> item, Madam Clerk. Okay. Next item, item 7.4, information, transit-oriented development, surplus property update presented by Brent Berniker. Um, unless Brent has something to add to his very nicely written report, I would move approval. Okay, that's fine. Yep. Swing and a miss. Oh, for two. <laughs> I'll second it. After, um, just for you know, this is an information item, so it doesn't require a motion and a second. I withdraw my second. 
<laughs> Actually, Brenda Pence loves to speak. Hey, it's just going to say, hey, this is information for you. <laughs> yeah. yeah. All right. Any questions for Brent before we move on? Uh, there are reports in the packet and for those watching the meeting. Uh, you can go to the SACRT website to read this item. Bang up job, Brent. very nice report. Thank you. Thank you. Thank Thank you. you. you don't get those compliments every day on a staff report. No, I don't. Yeah, I appreciate everything. All right. Thank you. And, and Tracy, I know you probably drafted it for him and he just put his name on it. So thank you, Tracy, for all of your hard <laughs> <Thank> work. You. <laughs> That's really why I moved approval. <laughs> that, I, I would actually like to uh, thank Tracy and Renee. Thank you guys. You guys are amazing. And of course, Renee, how could I forget? All right. Thank you, Director Budge. Um, next item, Madam Clerk. Next item is item 8.1, the general manager's report. Well, Mr. Chair, I'd like to go ahead and move the item. <laughs> it's also informational. So oh, if your motion nice. fails for lack of any need for a motion. <laughs> okay. Uh, good evening, uh, Mr. Chair and uh, members of the board and the public. I first want to take a moment to acknowledge and thank members of OE3 group, as well as uh, the business rep, uh, Mr. Felix Howard, uh, for his strong leadership. We have had a lot of great discussions over the last few months, and I'm thankful that we have been able to reach this agreement. The five-year contract is a great foundation for, for a collaborative and a successful working relationship moving forward. Uh, thank you to all who involved. And uh, also, you know, um, in the time, the interest of time, I will briefly recap Sakati's first quarter financial performance for the FY21. We ended the quarter with a $3.8 million swap bid in surplus. And, uh, you know, although the ridership was done due to COVID, the good news is that the ridership has picked up since April and we have seen some gains. As for the FY21 budget update, the CARES Act funding has allowed us to hold off our uh, nearly $34 million regular federal preventative, uh, preventative maintenance funding until FY22. So we're going to have $34 million saving from this particular regular funding source in FY21, we can prolong that to the 22. We, we can use that money for some you know, high top priority projects down the road. And uh, the district also has incurred additional COVID related costs that will add to the budget line item. We anticipate receiving new FEMA funds to cover some of or all of this cost. Uh, for further information, including the board package, is a, uh, we, we, we do have a PowerPoint uh, presentation on the capital facility needs report. We're now going to go through that. Uh, then uh, switching gears, uh, now the election season is over, I would like to just highlight uh, that communities across the country overwhelmingly voiced their support for public transit at the ballot measures. Uh, in, in November 3rd, 15 out of 17 measures supporting public transit passed. For 2020 as a whole, 47 out of 53 ballot measures supporting public transit Past. And this is truly amazing that in the face of huge changes and the difficult challenges brought on by COVID-19 pandemic, voters overwhelmingly said yes to public transit ballot measures that will expand and improve public transit, spur economic development and job creation, and connect communities and the people who live 
over there. The Sacramento region decided not to move forward with the proposed Metro A expenditure plan, but I'm hopeful that our region will look at how other communities are investing in transit as they think about the future and their livelihood. And uh, there are couple positive news for Saturday from the, our partner agencies too. Uh, first, early this month, the California Transportation Commission approved two SACRT grants, totaling nearly $34 million in funding just uh, last, early last, uh, last Monday. The funds support SACRT's light rail modernization project by funding new low floor light rail trains, station upgrades and renovations along the blue line and a significant face lift and the improvement of the what I-80 light rail bus transfer center. I want, uh, I want to thank the CTC, the chairwoman and the other partners. In addition, last week, Sacramento Transportation Authority approved nearly $9 million funding to support Sacramento's senior and disabled transit service. Uh, certainly, I want to thank STA Board of Directors for this funding. And finally, Caltrans recently, last, last Friday, notified us that we are the recipient of the 2020 Caltrans Excellence in Transportation Award in the public awareness campaigns category for our Sacramento Ford marketing campaign. Of all the award winners, Sakati was the only transit agency on the 2020 list. Congrats to our marketing team for receiving another award and continue to do a tremendous job of sharing Sakati's positive message. Thanks to Deborah, Jessica, and the whole team. And uh, virtually, you know, the award of uh, the, the news medium uh, report we have received, 95% are positive and 5% are neutral. And uh, with that, I want to show two very short videos uh, to the board to conclude my remark. The first video is the California Transit Association's um, last year's annual conference, full conference uh, promotion video, because we're going to, uh, SACRT will uh, host this annual conference Close to 1,000 people will come to Sacramento in September next year to attend this conference in the new uh, convention center building. And uh, they ask us to send uh, a, a, a video to promote Sakati and the Sacramento region uh, as a, you know, a tradition. So we're going to show that video, and also we're going to show a holiday video, you know, uh, to the public, to our board. And uh, with that, uh, please stay safe. Uh, Sandy or Adam, can you show that two videos? The Sacramento Regional Transit District is excited to welcome you to California's capital next year for the California Transit Association's 56th Annual Fall Conference and Expo. We missed seeing you in person this year. However, if we all do our part to stop the spread of COVID-19, SACRT will be ready with open arms to greet you in 2021. Bring your walking shoes and appetite, as Sacramento is also America's farm to fork capital with amazing restaurants, more than 50 farmers markets, homegrown breweries, quaint coffee shops, colorful street murals, historic district shopping, and home to the NBA's Sacramento Kings. There's no shortage of things to explore, and SACRT keeps the region moving to all these exciting destinations and more, with over 80 bus routes serving over 3,100 bus stops, 43 miles of light rail serving 52 light rail stations, nine smart ride on-demand microtransit zones, the largest program in the country, and SACRT Go ADA paratransit services, all within a 400-square-mile service area throughout Sacramento County. We can't wait to show you how Sacramento is innovating mobility. Take a ride on one of our zero emission buses or tour one of our many facilities 
and know that SACRT will keep you safe when you travel with us, as safety and security is our top priority. Come see why we received APTA's Rail Safety Gold Award and FDA's Gold Standard Award for System Security. We can't wait to show you more of what we are doing at SACRT to help move our region and industry forward and for you to see what Sacramento has to offer during the 56th Annual Fall Conference and Expo in 2021, which will be held at the new state-of-the-art Safe Credit Union Convention Center. From the SAC RT family, we can't wait to see you next year in Sacramento. And remember to pack some extra clothes. You won't want to leave. That was excellent. That was excellent. Henry, it's just like I was saying during my comments, eight years ago, none of us could have imagined a video like that. And today you've made us really proud for the leadership of you and the staff. Thank you. Back to your chair. Wonderful, thank you, Mr. General Manager. Any uh, director, uh, Vice Chair Elect Kennedy. <laughs> All the electoral votes are in. Um, I, I just, I just want to say, I, I wasn't going to comment because the chair already did, but, but Henry, to your staff, that video promoting Sacramento to the conference was about as well done as I've ever seen a video like that. That was really, really good. So, congratulations. Thank you. Any other comments? That was uh, well said, uh, Vice Chair Elect. All right, um, let's wrap up the general manager's report if we don't have any public comment and uh, take up the next item. Okay, we do not have any public item on a public comment on the general manager's report. I want to see if directors Budge, Miller, or Hume have anything further to add to the written reports under the GM's report for their respective JPA meetings. No, um, this capital corridor is pretty concise. Don't have anything to add. Okay, nothing else? Nothing. I don't believe so. And then any reports, ideas, or questions from directors? Mr. Chair? Yes, Director Serna. Thank you. Um, tomorrow, at tomorrow's um, a board, uh, board of Supervisors meeting, we're going uh, we're gonna to be offering a resolution acknowledging um, the uh, uh, public health workers in Sacramento County who've been doing uh, an incredible job uh, during the pandemic, and I wanted to um, ask whether it's possible. This is a question for our general manager. Would it be possible to, to uh, have a bus, one bus uh, or train, I guess, that could, um, we can find the right verbiage, but could offer thanks uh, to Sacramento County's uh, public uh, health personnel? Yes, and just let uh, Chris know, you know who we should contact. Okay, terrific. Thank you. Okay, thank you, Director Serna. Any other comments from the board? Uh, Director Hume. Only because I couldn't get myself unmuted uh, early enough during the actual item. I just want to congratulate you, Steve, on your tenure here at RT. 
Um, as you said, uh, a lot has transpired in that time, and I think it's a different agency now than it was then, and in large part that's due to your advocacy, your uh, tenacity, and, and your commitment to making it a better place. So you'll be missed, and uh, everyone else, uh, stay safe, stay sane, and happy holidays. Thank you, Director Hume. And I just want to, again, wish everybody well uh, as you move forward. Hopefully, RTGO is a way of life, and everybody gets on rides our trains, our buses, and all the great new services. So I wish you all the best as you carry the agency forward. Steve, can, can you just make sure that you um, send me your contact information so I have it? Yes, I will, Carrie. Thank you, honey. Happy yep. holidays. All right. This meeting is adjourned. Have a great rest of 2020. Let's hope 2021 is better. Bye, everyone.